In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, travel is coming back in a big way with Americans hitting the roads and the skies. But soon, trips may be going straight up to the stars. No passport needed. This morning, we're going to take a look at a hotel in space. When we think of the future in space, the Jetsons cartoon is what we imagine, Americans living in space. Now, that fantasy may be closer to reality than you think. The startup Orbital Assembly is close to having its Pioneer station circling Earth. It could start orbiting Earth as early as 2025, and its larger sister station, Voyager, is expected to open in just a few years. Unlike the International Space Station, these will be commercial habitats centered around business offices and space tourism. We're looking at a number of different industries, large-scale manufacturing, uh, tourism, of course, and also just B2B services such as data processing and communications. They are working to create giant spinning wheels in the sky so people can work and play in space with gravity. They can enjoy everything, like sitting at a restaurant and enjoying the view. Tourists can even enjoy activities like basketball. We're building artificial gravity space stations, which we believe are imperative to help having people live for long periods of time in a healthy way on orbit. Now, living quarters will be much smaller than your usual earthly standards. Pioneer will hold up to 28 people at a time and have 14,000 cubic feet of space. But as Orbital Assembly gets ready to enlist more investors and begin signing up tenants, it's betting that this is just the beginning. In the next few years, space and people living and working in space is going to become just as commonplace as someone going down and working at a Starbucks. Talk about out of this world, right? Well, the company Orbital Assembly will have competition. As launch costs have dropped and the ISS is expecting to be retired by the end of the decade, a number of companies are racing to develop commercial space stations of their own, including Blue Origin and Axiom Space, which just completed its first all-private human space flight. Absolutely astounding. A space flight and the free market coming together. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you. Quite the future we have. For sure. Would you do it? Yeah, I might. I really? It's, I didn't think. I didn't think you. It's expensive. Well, yeah, of course. I know you're the money guy. But yeah. If we took money out of it for a second. Well, it'd be fun to try. Sure. Oh, look at him. <laughs> <laughs>